Hello and welcome. This is a short video walking on the Glass Mountain in the Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area. And very shortly, you can already see it there on the right, you will get to a uh, obsidian rock formation. Um, this is a, uh, a very wide uh, area with uh, lava flow and uh, here and there you will see these uh, these black obsidian formations sticking out and this is uh, it's a very remote area in northern California a few miles from Madison Lake and some 60 miles driving from Mount Shasta um, of which the last 30 miles are just uh, well you're pretty much on your own there is nothing there the roads are paved so they are easy to drive at least in the summer it, you cannot get here in the winter time this is completely snowed in in winter but in the summertime this is easy to reach and this is at an elevation of about 7,000 feet, I think, so some two kilometers above sea level. And here is the, the black obsidian rock formation that I mentioned in the very beginning. You see this beautiful, shiny, glass-like rock, molten lava. And it's it's truly glass-like. The edges are very sharp. It's very easy to cut yourself if you touch these edges at the stone, or even if you walk on it. So wear some very sturdy shoes when you, if you decide to go here. The rocks are uh, very brittle and sharp. So this is just some close-ups of the obsidian. See how shiny it is. Um, some points you can see there my reflection in the stones. And then view around it. still a patch of snow so this was filmed in June 22nd and there's still uh, areas of snow you can see here a lone tree growing and another Another obsidian formation. It's beautiful the, uh, the gradations in the, the color. The black with lighter stripes and in some places you will see reddish brown through it but I assume iron uh, deposits and here you can see a, a bit more in the distance a taller hill there in the distance with some trees Turning back towards where I originally came from. There was a dirt road there alongside the uh, alongside the, the forest in the distance.
So although this, this area is uh, mostly paved to get to in the last, what is it, mile, one or two mile or so, it's a dirt road, but it's a very easily accessible dirt road, so you don't need four-wheel drive to, to get here. established itself in this area on the rocks walking back to the uh, formation that we started with and by the way I have a, uh, a separate video with some hand pan music that I play in front of this City in the rock on the other side of where we are now. This is a look uh, at the ground, and you see all this, the little pieces of obsidian. And like I said again, very sharp, easy to cut yourself. And this is about the place where I sat for the uh, when I played the hand pen in the other video. This is one of those places where I said that there is a, you can see the, the red, the brownish red uh, colorations of the stone, of the obsidian. You also see one of the, the stones that was partially the smooth uh, glass-like obsidian and partially the more brittle um, type of rock that you see more around this uh, formation. back looking for the small trail to go back to the, the dark road and then towards the end of the vi this video I will show you um, after I had stepped in the car and driven two miles maybe three miles away from here there's a beautiful view back to this area and we'll get a nice uh, scenic overview of this uh, very large and wide um, lava flow and here it is so this is from the dirt road, looking back in the distance, the lava flow. And then here you get an idea of the condition of the road, so it's easy to drive. 